Electric Dreams is a 1984 science fiction romantic comedy film set in San Francisco, California, that depicts a love triangle among a man, a woman and a personal computer. It was directed by Steve Barron and stars Lenny Von Dolan, Virginia Madsen, Maxwell Caulfield, and the voice of Bud Court. The film's credits dedicate it to the memory of Univac I. Topic. Plot Miles Harding is an architect who envisions a brick shaped like a jigsaw puzzle piece that could enable buildings to withstand earthquakes. Seeking a way to get organized, he buys a personal computer to help him develop his ideas. Although he is initially unsure that he will even be able to correctly operate the computer, he later buys numerous extra gadgets that were not necessary for his work, such as switches to control household appliances like the blender, a speech synthesizer, and a microphone. The computer addresses Miles as Moles, because Miles had incorrectly typed his name during the initial setup. When Miles attempts to download the entire database from a mainframe computer at work, his computer begins to overheat. In a state of panic, Miles uses a nearby bottle of champagne to douse the overheating machine, which then becomes sentient. Miles initially is unaware of the computer's newfound sentience, but discovers it one night when he is awakened by the computer in the middle of the night when it mimics Miles talking in his sleep. A love triangle soon develops among Miles, his computer, who later identifies himself as Edgar, and Miles's neighbor, an attractive cellist named Madeline Robestat. Upon hearing her practicing a piece from Notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach on her cello through an air vent connecting both apartments, Edgar promptly elaborates a parallel variation of the piece, leading to an improvised duet. Believing it was Miles who had engaged her in the duet, Madeline begins to fall in love with him in spite of her ongoing relationship with fellow musician Bill. At Miles's request, Edgar composes a piece of music for Madeline. When their mutual love becomes evident, however, Edgar responds with jealousy, cancelling Miles's credit cards and registering him as an armed and dangerous criminal. Upon discovering this humiliation, Miles and Edgar have a confrontation, leading to Miles shoving the computer and trying to unplug it, getting an electric shock. Then the computer retaliates in a Pac-Man-like game by harassing him with household electronics. Eventually, Edgar accepts Madeline and Miles's love for each other, and appears to commit suicide by sending a large electric current through his acoustic coupler, around the world, and back to himself just after he and Miles make amends. Later as Madeline and Miles go on vacation together, Edgar's voice is heard on the radio dedicating a song to The Ones I Love Together in Electric Dreams the credits are interspersed with scenes of the song being heard all over California, including a radio station trying to shut it off, declaring that they do not know where the signal is coming from. Topic. Cast Lenny Von Dolan as Miles Moles, Harding Virginia Madsen as Madeline Robestat Maxwell Caulfield as Bill Bud Court as voice of Edgar Don Fellows as Mr. Riley Miriam Margulies as Ticket Girl Giorgio Moroder as record producer Ku Stark as Girl in Soap Opera Topic. Production Steve Barron had made over 100 music videos and routinely sent them to his mother for comment. She particularly liked one he did for Hasey Fantasy. She was doing continuity on YENTL, co-produced by Rusty Lamorande and showed it to him. Lamorande had finished his own script for Electric Dreams and was looking for a director. He offered Barron the job. Barron took the script to Virgin Films, and it agreed to finance within four days. The film was pre-sold to MGM, UA who brought rights for the US, Canada, Japan and Southeast Asia. Two months after Virgin agreed to make the movie, filming began in San Francisco. There was also studio work done in London at Twickenham Studios, Virginia Madsen later recalled she 
was very spoiled on that movie, because it was such a love fest that I now believe that every movie should be like that. I had a mad, crazy crush on Lenny Von Dolan. God, we were so, we were head over heels for each other. Nothing happened, and at this point, I admit it, I wanted it to happen. He's still one of my best friends. Bud Court provided the voice of the computer. The director did not want Court to be seen by the other actors during scenes so Court had to do his lines in a padded box on a sound stage. It got a little lonely in there, I must admit, said the actor. I kept waiting to meet the other actors, but nobody came to say hello. Boy George visited the set and, being a fan of Harold and Maude, got Court's autograph, the computer hardware company's name in the film is Pinecone, a play on Apple Computer. The movie featured music from Giorgio Moroder, Culture Club and Heaven 17. The fact that there's so much music has to do with the success of Flashdance. Barron admitted during filming, This film isn't Flashdance 2. Flashdance worked because of the dancing. It didn't have a story. Electric Dreams does. Barron later said, Electric Dreams was definitely an attempt to try and weave the early 1980s music video genre into a movie. He added that the film isn't that deep. The closest parallel is probably that it's a Cyrano de Bergerac-like exploration of how words and music can help nurture and grow feelings on the path to love. Oops that's too deep. Topic. Music. The soundtrack features music from prominent popular musicians of the time, being among the movies of this generation that actively explored the commercial link between a movie and its soundtrack. The soundtrack album Electric Dreams was reissued on CD in 1998, Steve Barron later recalled. Giorgio Moroder was hired as composer and played me a demo track he thought would be good for the movie. It was the tune of Together in Electric Dreams but with some temporary lyrics sung by someone who sounded like a cheesy version of Neil Diamond. Giorgio was insisting the song could be a hit so I thought I'd suggest someone to sing who would be as far from a cheesy Neil Diamond as one could possibly go. Phil Oakey. We then got Phil in who wrote some new lyrics on the back of a fag cigarette packet on the way to the recording studio and did two takes which Giorgio was well pleased with and everybody went home happy. Topic. Release Topic. Critical reception Rotten Tomatoes gives the film a score of 44%. Rotten. Based on 16 reviews, the New York Times said that the film failed to blend and balance its ingredients properly and that it lost plot elements and taxed credibility, the Los Angeles Times called it inspired and appealing a romantic comedy of genuine sweetness and originality. Film critics Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert each gave the film 3.5 out of 4 stars, with Siskel writing that it showed a new director eager to show off his talents and Ebert writing. One of the nicest things about the movie is the way it maintains its note of slightly bewildered innocence. https colon slash slash chicago tribune dot newspapers dot com slash image slash three eight eight one nine eight one eight six slash https colon slash slash ww dot roger ebert com reviews electric dreams one nine eight four Topic. Home media Electric Dreams was released in 1984 VHS and again in 1991 VHS in the U.S. MGM Home Video released a Laserdisc in America in 1985, and Warner Brothers released a video CD version for the Singapore market in 2001, but both are out of print. 
The film received a Region 2 DVD on April 6, 2009 by MGM who owns Orion Pictures and international rights to the Virgin, MECG film catalog they purchased in the mid-90s. On that DVD, one minor change was made to the beginning of the film with the initial Virgin Films animated logo and opening lines of Electric Dreams, sung by P.P. Arnold, completely replaced by a digital era MGM Lion. The initial U.S. releases have those first few bars of Electric Dreams over the 1980s era MGM Diamond Jubilee logo. UK video label Second Sight has released a Blu-ray on 7 August 2017, making its worldwide debut. No US DVD and Blu-ray releases are planned. Topic. Legacy Fans of Electric Dreams have noted the similarities between the film and Spike Jonze's Her. But when asked about it, Jones claimed not to have seen the former film. Director Steve Barron later said when he made the film there was a prejudice against video clip directors doing drama, and since Electric Dreams was a little bit like an extended music video, I didn't help that cause in a lot of ways. Laughs. Topic. Remake. In 2009 Barron said that Madsen told him she was planning on being involved in a remake. She didn't ask me to do it, so I guess I blew my chance on the first one. He said, I wouldn't actually do it, but it would have been nice for the ego to be asked. As of 2018, no remake has resulted. Topic. See also. Cyrano de Bergerac play, a play written in 1897 by Edmund Rostand, featuring a brilliant but unattractive swordsman who woos the woman he loves on behalf of a handsome but tongue-tied friend. Her, a 2013 film about a man who develops a relationship with a computer operating system.